This is the center of it all, my home studio desk. 48 inches deep and 78 inches wide, it fits all the gear I've ever wanted. But before I ended up here, my home studio was in a 7x8 foot walk-in closet. The remains of old foam still remind me of my time here and how many of us don't always have a big room for our studios. And that's when it clicked. It's easier to upgrade your gear than trying to find a bigger space. And the best way to make your home studio feel like a more productive and spacious environment is by getting a quality studio desk. So, I've been scrolling through all the studio desks that Sweetwater has on offer and at first glance, most of these are out of budget for a basic bedroom setup. For us to get at least a decent studio desk that won't break the bank, I feel we should stick to $500 or less. I mean, who knows, we might actually have some money left for extra gear. A few minutes later. So I found three desks that should fit within a compact studio space and they all fit within the $500 budget. The first desk I found is the cheapest of three costing $290. It offers a nice keyboard tray, a shelf for your screen and monitors, plus there is spare money for stands. Where the second desk takes up most of the budget, retailing at $430. This desk definitely looks a lot more solid and the additional rack space is great. But I think the third desk offers the best of both worlds. Retailing at $340, this Gator Studio desk looks solid, it offers some rack space and there is enough money left over to grab some speakers stands. The three star reviews did grab my attention but I did see that most of the complaints are more about assembling the desk than the desk itself so I think we should be okay. So while I hit the checkout button make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. Okay, so it's been a week and the desk has finally arrived. Huge shout out to Sweetwater for helping me out on this one. We did have some money left over in our budget, so I did decide to get a mic stand as well. But now it's time to get this desk unboxed and set up. Let's go. Okay, so the desk is finally set up. It definitely took way longer than I expected and I think it's more than enough for one day. Morning guys, as you can see the desk and stands are in place and for the last few days this has been my setup. First we have my laptop and underneath the desk lies the keyboard and mouse. On the stands we have a pair of Yamaha HS5s. My audio interface for the setup is the Audient ID4. On the mic stand I've set up a Rode NT1A. For headphones I went with the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros and finally the Alesis Q49 is my MIDI controller of choice. I set up a few additional items that are in line with my needs as a vocalist. At the top, I've gone with the warm WA2A compressor and below I went with the WA273 mic pre. For any bedroom studio, this is a solid setup. Now, for the past three days, I've been using this desk for music production and editing videos. Size 26 inches deep and 43 inches wide, I decided to fit this setup in my bedroom for a day as well. And in doing so, a few things stood out to me. First of off, this is a small space, but for some reason I don't feel cramped. The fact that everything is spaced out in levels with my keyboard tray underneath, the main level for my controller and interface, a little higher we have the rack mounted gear and another shelf for my computer and my monitors. This desk uses the height most of us have instead of using the horizontal space we usually don't. I think for any bedroom studio, this desk ticks all the boxes. Just prepare yourself for the assembly process. It will definitely take some time to put this together. <laughs> 